We now know the identity of the man accused of trying to shoot a Richmond police officer on the south side. That's right, 24 year old Dante Watts is charged with attempted murder after investigators say he pointed a gun at an officer last night and pulled the trigger multiple times. Fortunately, the gun did not fire. Jasmine Turner is at the Blue Ridge Estates apartment complex. The situation began. Great work there, Jasmine. Well, two dozen people are arrested in an interstate gun trafficking bust. Most of the suspects are from Virginia. They're accused of buying guns in Virginia and southern states, then taking them to New York, where they would then sell those guns. Prosecutors say an undercover agent helped break up the ring when he was actually able to buy more than 200 guns and then transport them to New York on buses. They say the traffickers were caught on wiretaps bragging about how they were able to sell the guns for as much as $2,200 each. In all, 24 people are charged. One is from Brooklyn, one is from D.C., the rest are from Virginia. Well, one person is dead tonight after this fiery crash in Chesterfield. Chesterfield police actually tell us the driver died at the scene. We're told the car drove off the road, flipped and caught fire. We don't know what caused the car to go off the road. Traffic alert. Well, if you didn't know, it's International Women's Day. Citizens and world leaders paying tribute to the vital role women play around the globe and also bringing attention to lower wages, sexual harassment, discrimination and other issues that many women often face. So Julie Banderas has our story tonight. Well, the city of Petersburg wants your input before hiring a new city manager and police chief. There will be a series of public meetings, so take a look at this, all held at the public library on Washington Street. The first is just for business owners. That's on March 14th at 2 p.m. There's a second meeting that same day for the general public at 6.30 p.m. And then the third meeting is the following day, March 15th at 10 a.m., and that's for educators, religious groups, and nonprofit organizations. Well, we've got good news to share. Today, Praise 104.7 radio personality Sheila Bell announced she is cancer free. We've been following her battle for the past few months. She endured several rounds of chemo, then countless hours in the hospital battling MRSA and a blood infection. Well, just six days ago, Bell underwent surgery to have the remaining cancer removed. Today, doctors called to tell her it was a success. Welcome back. A health alert tonight for Henrico students has actually grown and now includes three schools. The health department is reporting possible cases of mumps at Tuckahoe Middle and Godwin in Freeman High. Colleen Quigley is on your side in Henrico with what parents need to look out for. This coming up. And how would you like to get a house for just $250? Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> we'll show you how. Coming up next. And sky is nice and clear. Well, if you're creative enough, you could get a new home for just $250. Suzanne Bryan is letting go of her family home in Eden, North Carolina. The house was originally purchased by her grandfather back in 1911, and it was passed on in her family for generations. But her grandkids don't want it, so she's holding an essay contest to make sure it goes to the right person. I had a lot. Well, it could be yours. It costs $250 to enter that contest. A panel of judges will pick a winner from the top five essays. All entries should be mailed to the address on your screen. P.O. Box 41, Bassett, Virginia 24055. The winner will get the keys and a deed on Memorial Day. He wrote the art of the deal. Up next, can President Trump work out a deal to get the GOP's health care plan passed when much of the opposition is coming from other Republicans? Good question. And they risk their lives every day, battling fires to save others' lives. But new video really shows the extreme danger firefighters face, and you'll want to see it coming up. Two days after the GOP unveiled their plan to replace Obamacare, the overall response is decidedly negative, and a good deal of that opposition is coming from within their own party. So can the man in the White House, who famously wrote The Art of the Deal, get them on board? Joel Waldman is in Washington with the latest tonight. Caught on camera tonight out of Ohio, video allegedly showing actor and comedian Faison Love grabbing an airport worker by the neck and throwing him around. Take a close look here. Authorities say that is Love walking toward the man. He then suddenly grabs him by the neck and throws him to the ground. The scuffle continues in the baggage claim area. 
He was arrested and charged with assault. Love has appeared in several films, including The Replacements, Elf, and Friday. Tonight. Well, tonight, new video shows just how dangerous a firefighter's job really is. Watch as firefighters trying to get inside a burning home. They are hit with a massive fireball. This is in Palm Beach County, Florida. The two firefighters were hit with a sudden backdraft. They were injured but got right up, grabbed their hoses and went inside the home anyway. They were later treated for minor injuries. The Palm Beach County Fire Rescue later posted the video on Twitter to highlight the dangers of their job. <laughs> well, it reads like a mystery of the week. A missing wind chime, a note and a $5 bill have left one Washington State woman searching for a young boy named Jake. Her search has now gone viral, so Jenna Hanchard tells us more. Well, Christina has created a new Facebook page called Jake's Butterfly, and she hopes to get leads and keep people posted on her quest to find Jake. Well, coming up in sports, the ACC tournament is underway for our local teams. Highlights from the openers for Virginia and Virginia Tech. Plus, it's win or go home for Richmond this weekend in Pittsburgh. That's coming up next in sports. Man's best friend ended up jumping into the police cruiser next to a <laughs> cuffed suspect in the back. A well-trained recruit in that dog. Well, huh? he says, if you're going, I'm going too. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that does it for us tonight. But don't forget to get all of your news, weather and traffic right here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. here on Fox Richmond. Have a great evening and join us right here again tomorrow night at 10.